Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm going to show you how to stretch out your neck today. I am in Orange County, California. I am one half of the locally world famous chiropractors in Orange County, California. I know, locally. What does that mean? It means you probably know us locally. Anyways, we're going to go through a nice flow today. and it's, This is a nice follow along if you wondered how to stretch out your neck. This is going to be a nice flow for you. Um, just be considerate that there really shouldn't be any pain or shooting or referral while doing this, all right? This is intended for educational purposes of, for people who are not really in pain. And just general stretching is actually a good thing to do, more so when you're not having any problems versus when you're having some intense pain. Sometimes stretching is actually not advised with some types of conditions such as pinched nerves and disc injuries and so on that can create referral out into the shoulder blade, sometimes into the hand, create some numbness or even headaches. So um, take it in the light it was intended. So we're gonna go through a little flow today and just follow along with me, all right? And so I'm gonna pan this guy back so we can get a big view of what's going on. I apologize, no camera guy today. So I like to usually start with, with um, more of like a, uh, a exploration of movement first, just to make sure that, that nothing's gonna spark up when we do anything. And so usually I like to have people go head down first, just really slow, and hold it there for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go up 10 seconds. I guess I should hold for 10 if we're doing a flow, huh? So just close, you can just close your eyes and listen to me. I'll, I'll do my very best to, to guide you verbally. Good, and then look straight. And then look over one shoulder, doesn't matter which, and hold for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna look over the other shoulder. You can keep your eyes closed. And just kind of feel what you feel. Does anything feel pinchy? Does it feel like it's shooting? Is there a certain range that feels like it, it doesn't really feel that great? And then we're gonna tilt one ear to the shoulder. You can probably look at the camera when you do this one, or the video. Now, sometimes when we find the area that if it's pinchy or shooting, we might not stretch into that position and other side. So just note that one, and we might just eliminate this one, that one from this flow today. But if all of them just kind of feel like just a little tight, it's probably okay to do all of these. Okay. Now we're going to supply a little bit of overpressure to certain directions. I like to normally go nose into the armpit first, and so I like to take this opposite hand here and either sit on it or actually put it and grab onto the chair. And so we're going to go hands right in the back of the head and open hand, and we're just going to pull down and just look down to our opposite pocket, or almost like we're putting our nose into the armpit. And I want you to breathe in the nose three seconds, out the mouth for six. And in the nose, and out the mouth for six. Now we, before we go too far, I'm gonna give you um, just a couple format things because it's easier for me just to give you a format rather than to talk about them every time. Breathing is important. So in the nose, three seconds, out the mouth for six, like out of a little straw. And as you breathe out, just give a little bit more attention. Not a lot, just a little bit more, okay? We're gonna do the other side. So hand open. In the nose, three seconds. Out, and a little bit of pressure. In, out, pressure, in, out, pressure, good. The next one we're going to do is we're going to go look downs, okay? We're going to go look down and interlace the fingers on the back of the head. Same breathing pattern applies and we're going to do mainly three reps. Okay, we're going to go here and just pull down, let the elbows get heavy, and just let your hand, the gravity do the work versus your hands actually pulling down. And just hold, in, and out. In, and out. In, and out. Good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up. So go ahead and go up. This time we're gonna take our fingers and just push a little bit back with the chin, on the chin is all. 
I won't be able to speak much through this one, so I apologize, but it's just a little bit of pressure up as you exhale. Not a lot, just a little. If we're gonna grade this based upon percentage of pressure, it's like 100% is like, boom, a lot. This is like five, it's like nothing. It's just a little bit. So up, in, 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 Good. Next we're gonna do is something called retractions. And so retractions is to reverse what we do most of the day, which is protraction. And so this one's a little bit more of a hold. So same breathing, fingers on the nose, and we're just gonna push backwards. And hold. In. Let's do five more because this one's really actually a pretty good one. In. In. I don't know, I see you, but this one feels pretty good on me. In. Two more, in, in, good. So that's a good starting point here. Now, the next thing to do is, is to add some mid-back extension with it because really no neck stretching flow is really good without some mid-back extension because the whole point of stretching is not to just release the muscles but also to, to reduce, reduce some of the mechanical stress that we get throughout most of our life. And a lot of us tend to sit a lot and we tend to be down into a, into a rounded position a lot. And so I like using a chair and just putting hands over the, uh, in the back of the neck here and we just start to extend. Okay, it doesn't matter what spot it is. No, you can go up and down the spine. You can move it a little bit. And so this, you can feel your abs stretch a little bit. And this also stretches out the pecs a little bit too, the pec muscles in the front. I wouldn't flare the elbows out really far, but just let gravity do the work. So in and out, in and out, in and out. We're gonna do five more, in, and out, in, and out, in, and out, in, and out. Good. So here's the things you should be feeling after this. You should feel your, like your neck is looser. You should feel blood going through your arms. You should feel more relaxed and more calm. A lot of times people with this upper neck tension or this shoulder tension up here will feel much better after this. And just notice how good you feel after doing those deep breathing. So it feels really good to relax sometimes. And sometimes taking just a couple moments like this, in this case we probably did about five minutes of stretching, it feels really good just to chill down every once in a while, okay? We all know that stress is a big part of our lives and so the only thing we can do that's in our control is number one, quit our jobs or quit the stressor. Or number two is take control of what you have control of. And in this case, spend five minutes at work doing some stretches a couple times a day, all right? A lot of times people with back issues will have problems because of stress too. And so we do have another flow coming up which is gonna be more specific to hips and back. So please follow that one as well. You can subscribe to the channel. Excuse me. You can subscribe to the channel by having a little circle uh, you just click on it and at the top there's going to be a search function and just go through there and search out stretching low back, stretching hip, whatever you want to do. Okay. And if you're in Orange County, California and if you're looking to come in in person, we'd love to help you out and just find a long, uh, a, a good, a good long-term remedy for your problem. Okay. If you're having some neck issues or headaches or shoulder blade tightness or hand numbness, 
um, or you've been having just general tightness in the upper part of your body, we can help you through this. It, it should not be too hard. We're very good at what we do. We're very honest and we have all five star reviews at this point in time um, on all the Googles, Yelps and Facebooks and so on. And so uh, we have not paid for any of those reviews, just people that genuinely like us. So hopefully you guys like us too and trust us enough to, to help you out. We do have online help as well. So we've done everything in our power to make it so uh, you guys can get help from us. And so we have, we have online guides and we have, uh, we have virtual sessions where you can actually talk to us and then we have in person too. And so um, look in the link description below. We have a lot of, of the links down there which will help you find the right thing you're looking for. So subscribe to the channel, like this and share it and we'll see you guys next time.